Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to reverse a circular linked list. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is meant by circular linked list. Then I will discuss what is meant by reverse of a circular linked list. Then I will discuss about how to write a C program to reverse a circular linked list. First, let me define what is a circular linked list. Circular linked list is a collection of nodes where each node will have the data and address of the next node. Look at here, we have collection of four nodes. Look at each node, we will have the data which is 10 and address of the next node. Address of this node is 200, so that's why we have a pointer which is pointing to this node. Similarly, this node have the data and address of the next node. Whereas this node, look at here, it is the last node. So the last node should point to the first node, then only it is having the circular thing. So, this node will have the address of the first node. So look at here, the pointer consists of address of the first node. Now once you have the circular, how can you say that which is the first node, which is the last node? To identify that one, we have two pointers called head and tail. Head pointer will be pointing to the first node and tail pointer will be pointing to the last node. Now we will discuss what is meant by reverse. Okay, suppose let's take that you have elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If someone asked you to reverse these elements, then what you will do? You will make it as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is what the meaning of reverse. Am I right? Now, similarly, what is meant by reverse in the circular linked list? Okay. First thing is that you have to make the last node as the first node. Okay. So, the number of nodes will not change. If you reverse it, will the number of nodes will increase or decrease? No, you will have the same number of nodes. So, let me draw the four nodes. Okay. Then this node address will be 400. This node address will be 300. This node address will be 200. And this node address will be 100. And the values will be 40, 30, 20, 10. Now address of the next node will be 300. Address of the next node will be 200. Address of the next node will be 100. Address of the next node will be 400. So you have links like this. And now head should be pointing to the first node. So head should have the 400 value. And tail should point to the last node. So tail should have the value called 100. So this is what the meaning of reverse. The first node should become the last node. And last node should become the first node. And then you should have the circularity and other nodes will also follow the same principle. So this is what the meaning of a reverse of the given circular linked list. Now how can we write a C program to do this task? Okay. Now for better understanding, let me discuss a few things. First thing is that when you are writing the program to do something on a linked list, first you have to identify how many pointers are required. Is it clear? Now look at here. One you should point into the previous node, one should be pointing to the current node and another one should be pointing to the next node. Why it is that? Please look at here. Now, here what should have? Suppose let's take that this is the current node. Current node should have the address of the previous node. Look at here. Now 100 is the current, current of next which 200. It should have the previous node because for this node, the previous node will be this one because this node is pointing to this one. Similarly, this one, suppose let's say that I'm having a pointer current of next should have the address of the previous node because look at here, finally, after this node 20 and you have the 100, which is the address of the previous node. So you need minimum three pointers. One is the previous node, current node and next node. Okay. Is it clear? So you can write the user defined function called void reverse okay is it clear then you can check this condition if head is equal to is equal to null then what i can say list is empty if list is empty how can you reverse it list is empty meaning is that there are no nodes in the list if there are no nodes, how can you reverse them? It is not practically possible. So that's why you will display the statement as list is empty. Else, if there are some nodes, then we will follow the some steps to reverse the circular linked list. Okay. So 
already i have discussed that we need to declare three pointers of struct node type so struct node i will write previous current and next node i hope it is visible for you if it is not visible you can say that struct node previous current and next node these are the three pointers we have declared and for better understanding you can make them as null is it clear because they are pointers if you leave them idly it will have the garbage value are you able to understand true to avoid that one you can assign the null values okay that is a good practice due to space issue i am not assigning the null values otherwise you can write it in a single statement null okay then what should be having now i will write current node is equal to head okay next node is equal to current node of next these are the two steps i have written what is the meaning of that one you understand okay we have three pointers called previous current next node okay are you able to understand it or not so current is equal to head what is head distance see this is the linked list not this one this is after reversing so head is having the 100 so current will have the 100 then next node is equal to current of next 100 of next 200 so this is having 200 okay then what i will write is that while current not equal to tail okay then we need to follow certain steps what are the certain steps is i will discuss for you previous is equal to current okay are you able to understand then current is equal to next node then you will write next node is equal to current of next current node of next then you will write current of next is equal to previous these are the steps you need to follow what are the steps i will discuss for you see there are four steps okay due to space issue i have written like this even you can write all the statements in a single line also there is no problem you can verify like this also is it clear now look at here what are the steps it is following current not equal to tail what is the tail consists of 400 what is current is consists of 100 100 is equal to 400 no 100 is not equal to 400 so this condition is true if this condition is true what are the statements which are there in the while loop need to be executed what is the first statement previous is equal to current what is current is consists of 100 so previous will get the value as 100 then current is equal to next node what is the next node consists of 200 that you are assigning to the current node so now you are getting 200 then next node is equal to current of next current of next 200 of next is 300 that you are assigning to the next node pointer now look at here you have a previous pointer pointing to this node current node pointer pointing this one next node pointer pointing to this one is it clear then what you want here current of next you want the previous node address look at here after reversing you have the node which is having the address 200 and value 20 what address you have previous node address so that's why i have written current of next is equal to previous current node is 200 200 of next is 300 that you are writing means you are assigning previous what is previous is consists of 100 so here you are writing 100 is it clear so this link will be down okay this node is linking with this node right now are you able to understand it or not but you need a pointer pointing to this one otherwise you cannot traverse i hope you have understood you need to traverse now next to this one so that's why we have a pointer so one pointer is required to get this node address another pointer is required to traverse it and whatever the modification you want to do you have to do here so that's why we have a pointer so that's why we need three pointers okay now look at here again you will check this condition current not equal to tail what is current is consists of 200 200 is not equal to 400 again the condition is true if the condition is true you have to execute these statements previous is equal to current what is current is consists of 200 don't think that current current means electricity 
it is the current node okay 200 current node is equal to next node so what is next node is consists of 300 that you are assigning here next node is equal to current of next 300 of next is 400 that you are assigning to the this node so now look at here you have a previous node pointing to this node current node pointing to this node next node is pointing to this node is it clear then current of next is equal to previous 300 of next here you are writing previous what is previous is consists of 200 so here you are writing here 200 so now this node is pointing to this node are you able to understand it or not okay now look at here what will happen is that current of next you have done then again it will check the condition current not equal to tail current is 300 300 is not equal to 400 again the condition is true if this condition is true we will execute these statements previous is equal to current so here you will get 300 current is equal to next node you will get 400 and next node is equal to current of next 400 of next is what 400 of next is 100 that it, it is here are you able to understand it or not so this node is po this pointer is pointing this node current pointer pointing this one next node is pointing to this one now you have written current of next is equal to previous 400 of next here 400 of next means this one what you are writing previous which is 300 so now this link has been down are you able to understand and this node is pointing to this node are you able to understand it or not okay then look at here what is happening current not equal to tail they are saying because once this part is done you will check this condition current not equal to tail what is current 400 tail is also 400 so 400 is equal to 400 but however they are saying 400 is not equal to 400 so this condition will be fail once this condition is failed you will come out from the while loop if you come out from the file loop what are the steps we need to follow look at here now 400 node is pointing to this node this node is pointing this node this node is pointing this node now look at here this node is the last node am i right after reversing so it should have the address of this node so how you can write this node is pointing by which pointer next node pointer so next node of next what address you should write tail is it clear so after this while loop is completed you can write the statement as next node okay it is a single one otherwise you will consider that it is a multiple words are there next node is a single one next node of next you should write tail what is tail is consists of 400 so here you are assigning the value here 400 so now this link will be down and this node is connected to this node are you able to understand it or not so we have the circularity everything is done no not yet now still the head is pointing to this node tail is pointing to this node after reversing what is this node this is the first node and this is the last node am i right or wrong is it clear so now head should have the address of the first node tail should have the address of the last node so what we have to do we have to swap these addresses so how can we swap is it clear let me discuss for you i'm looking where should i discuss okay or let me write here in a single statement i need to swap these values so current is equal to i will write head okay current is equal to head now current is consists of 400 but you are writing head so now current will be having the address 100 because see you look at this one don't look at and confuse this one we want finally this one but however it is there head is 100 and tail is 400 we need to swap them to get this output don't look at this one so current is equal to head so current is having the 100 then what it is should come head should be equal to tail okay so whatever the value is there in the tail you need to assign to the head so now head will become 400 
then you have to assign tail is equal to current. So what is current is consists of 100, now tail will be 100. So that is what you want, head and tail as 400 and 100 respectively. So you can close the while loop we have already closed here. Okay, we need to close the function. So this is the way we will reverse the circular linked list. I hope you have understood it is very simple. Okay, if you understand the logic, then it is very simple. If you are by the things, then it will make more complex for you. So I request everyone practice these programs. Okay, then understand the logic, then you can do the wonders in the data structures because data structures is very important course for the placements and also for the students who are writing the various competitive exams such as GATE, UGC NET or ISRO any exams. Okay. I hope you have understood how to reverse a circular linked list. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.